Hey guys, it's Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged and today we're going to be talking about the PureCheck P51 mouse pad. The Mustang is a fighter, sturdy and very fast. And here are some of these aircraft actually shooting up enemy military trains. Mustangs with their drop tanks could fly and fight all the way to Berlin and back again. When he saw Mustangs over Berlin, he knew the war was lost. The Mustang was also quite fearsomely well armed. The engine was put on the front of the prototype, the Allison was put to the side, and that aeroplane became the P-51 Mustang. A low-drag fuselage and a new laminar flow jet-type wing. It became the darling of the Army Air Forces and was described as the most aerodynamically perfect pursuit plane in existence. An overused word is iconic, but I can't think of a better one. But a household name and loved by both pilots and indeed families today. Well, we've been working this mouse pad for months since the summer, right? Since the summer of uh, last year. Yeah, and during that time, we ran into a lot of a lot of a lot of things. Ran into an issue with the manufacturers, an issue with the pad itself, right? One of the issues we ran into the first uh, the first time was the uh, the base, right? The base. So we we took some time to, uh, trying different bases, right? We finally ran into this base, the Alpha Cell, but it did have its issues, right? It was too squishy. I remember we didn't we didn't really like it how it was uh, squishy enough. But I but I also remember the manufacturer told us that the first iteration of the Alpha Cell was uh, that it was so sticky that it will rip off, it'll peel uh, off. Yeah, it will yeah. start chipping away of like I guess like the paint of you know that people you know, like the desks yeah. and whatnot. So they had to basically make like another version of it. That took some time. And then afterwards, uh, how do you call it? The pad itself, whenever we started getting the first sample in, yeah. um, uh, whenever we would lay it down flat, it started to bubble. So we had to basically fix that problem, in which we did. Yeah. Um, okay. Right? Uh, so that was, that was I remember that being like one, one of, one of like the big issues. So this base is so sticky. Yeah. You have to make sure you clean uh, your, your desk, right? Because you don't want to get a bunch of... Mm -hmm. uh, I guess a debris, dust and debris stuff, right? On it, yeah. So you clean your desk and lay it down flat, boom, and yeah. look, it doesn't budge at It's really um, good. It's stickier yeah. than Poron, I'll go as far as to say. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it is. You know, despite people saying Poron is more higher quality and whatnot, you know, it's like, you can say whatever you want. This is, I, in my opinion, I like this better over Poron because yeah. it's just, I mean, yeah, you know, it hasn't moved on my desk, exactly. so, right? And uh, it wasn't up until recently, too, that since this is the final sample here, and I'll give you guys like a more close up shot here, uh, the base itself on the new version, go ahead and put oh, yeah. the new version. That one has more of like a different, a different texture, indentation, yeah, yeah uh, texture so that it could stay more in place uh, into the pad. So we basically did so many changes to, yeah. the, throughout the month from thickness to the stitching we, to. We <laughs> tested everything, everything. The base, <laughs> we went to different versions of the base, different versions of the surface. When we finally found the fabric, this fabric, mm -hmm. We put in the time, right, to test the durability. How long did we test this? Okay, so this is the one of the first uh, production samples we got, right? This is like the second iteration. Yeah. The first iteration had its own little issues, right? Mm -hmm. We yeah. fixed them up, and this is the second iteration. And how long did you try this moss pad for? Man, uh, easily like three months. Yeah. Three months straight of yes. just straight freaking use man. straight use it was literally on my desk for a long time um mm -hmm. you could even go on, on my twitter and i've been kind of you know posting little clips here and there yeah, yeah. with the pad and, and whatnot um so yeah but like it's been literally months um three months of hard use um on the pad i'm safe to say that the fabric holds up it right does. um again just everything about the fabric. now you know shout out shout out to uh shout out to patrick um because remember you know just like i said right now we tried many different fabrics and yes. whatnot we didn't like 
a lot of a fabrics. A lot of them, yeah. They, you know, they just didn't hold up. The, they, they felt really weird. And they just, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Patrick was like, hey, man, look, man, you guys have been trying fabric for months now. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you try this one? Like, I should like it. All right, fine, Patrick, go ahead. We tried it. So now we, we tried it, and we were like, you know what? Yeah, this, this we all, fabric is... Yeah. Pretty damn good, right? We all, all three of us agree that this, the fabric was pretty damn great, right? Yeah. And on top of that, we put it through the ringer, mm -hmm. and yeah, it holds up. It holds up with the performances right up there with some of the uh, other moss pets mm -hmm. in the same uh, category, right? Really, really, really consistent. Mm -hmm. um, even during the summer, right? Remember, we got that fabric during the summer and whatnot. It stayed consistent. Mm -hmm. um, but, so surprisingly, before we get into all the other spe specifics, right? Mm -hmm. The surface. How different these are these this is the these are the final samples, right? So you get three mm -hmm. colors. It'll the be the samples. blue, the orange, and the black, and the right? Pink. So right now, right, because you wash the pad after yeah. right after putting it right. Mm -hmm. So how different do, do they feel compared I'm to the I'm surprised fresh ones? it did not feel that much different no, from the new ones. Really. It's like again, you could tell there's a little wear, right? Because it doesn't feel as smooth as like the yes, new ones, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can almost kinda hear it too, right? On the right and like on the wear. Yeah. But it's like it still holds up, and it again, the same. Yep. it's easy for us to say, right? Because we yeah. helped on the pad, right? Yeah. But when people start getting their hands on it, oh yeah, I know the I know the pad's gonna speak for itself, right? <laughs> so, I pro I promise. We <coughs> Okay, we, we may be a little biased, right? But I swear, <laughs> I swear this moss pad holds up. Kind of crazy how it's like, dude, it, it almost feels like it's like, you know, brand new. But again, right, you know, talk is cheap whenever people get the mouse. I mean, whenever well, well, whenever people get the mouse pad, um, you know, they themselves are going to know this. Holy crap, if I just wash the pad, it's like... Like brand you know, new again. <laughs> it's, it's still, I haven't played inconsistent with the pad. Yeah, me That's either. the thing. The pad, I have not played inconsistent with it. I've been having a really good time with it. Um, Even during the summer, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't notice it slowing down that much mm -mm. through the humidity, right? Oh, so, it's cloth. It's going to get affected by humidity, yeah, right? But, like, but compared to other pads, I see like a GSR. Oh, yeah, my God. Like, no, a GSR feels completely different when it's yeah. cold and really yeah, hot yep. and humid. So, no, this is this doesn't feel that drastic. Like, yeah, <gasps> yeah. you know, it's like a different pad. No. Um, uh, so, when people buy the pad, right? Uh, the packaging, you know, I'll put a picture up of the packaging. Um, uh, the, the the packaging itself looks really really yeah, nice, um, right? So uh, the packaging is really cool. But whenever you guys get the mouse pad, it's gonna come, uh, it's gonna come with this little film here, um, yep. right? Uh, at the back, that's basically just to protect it so that it won't get you know dirty, right, on the pad. The stitching on yeah. this final sample is really small, <coughs> right? On some sides, you can even see that the surface is above the stitching, right? So it's it's tiny stitching that's what we want that's that's what i asked uh patrick like patrick hey can you talk to the people blah, blah, blah. And, and shout out to patrick shout for putting patrick. up with the freaking our freaking uh our request we probably gave him a lot of headaches dude. yeah like, dude, no, honestly we better, we i, I know better. we did dude i know we did man but uh, again man it, it was it was it was cool working with uh patrick uh again shout out to patrick track, and thank yeah. you mo too you know for giving us you know like yeah. the opportunity you know those guys trusted us to help them develop you know a pad you know that you know that would be really good quality and you yeah. know they wanted some guidance on it and i'm just happy that they you know that they were like hey man you guys want to you know help me make a pad and you know we said yeah man so yeah. i don't know about you i find it just absolutely crazy how we started with the channel just the real moss pads back then yeah, you know to helping the company make a, a moss pad know, yeah you know like yeah. a moss pad um yeah this is literally <clears throat> if literally if we were to make a moss pad this is how it would be we chose everything, mm -hmm. the stitching, the surface, the, <coughs> the base. We agreed on mm -hmm. all that stuff. Granted, you know, we had help from Pat. Because on, on, honestly, truth be told, we wouldn't have done this without oh, Pat Oh, yeah, either. obviously. Without Pat, man. without Pure Track, nope. Yeah, we wouldn't have done all Pure that. Pure Track and Pat, man. Damn, yeah. So, um, uh, it's, it's uh, again, I'm just excited now that the Pat's going to be out and people will, will finally get their hands on the P51. Because, yeah. man, since last year, man, since, since, since last year. We wanted to say... We wanted to say we wanted to talk about the moss pad for the long. Uh -huh. Oh, even the name, dude. Yeah, the P51. name. P fifty one. We came up, man. <laughs> There's a backstory to that, right? We'll probably get into that at a later time, but yeah, the P fifty one. Yeah, that was pretty good. Freaking, uh, I thought the name was pretty good too, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, everything about the moss pad, man. We this is literally hardware up unplugged, approved. Right. This yeah. is this, this is, is this is this is this will be uh, 
st you know? hardware unplugged standards. If, if it's up to our standards, yeah. you know, the stitching, the base, the surface, mm -hmm. the durability more than anything. The, the durability. durability more than anything, man. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I do want to say in this video, um, is uh, you know, when people do get their hands on it, I want people to leave a uh, feedback, whether it's because they like the yep. pad or they hated the pad. Uh, feedback in general. Well, we're, I've, I've I've always told Gus this, right? You know, we're somebody who. If you don't like a video, like even back then, like even like years ago, right? People would leave comments like, maybe like, yeah, just give us feedback on how to, you know, on how to do better videos yeah. or what do you guys want to see, right? Yep. Um, and and so it's all about feedback. It's all just about just uh, getting better, um, and that's what we want, right? We we yep. we, we want to see what the community likes, right? Because this is basically what we would like in a pad, right? You know, this is this is this is this is good. Like I'm happy with this pad. But yeah. what if somebody doesn't really you know, it's, it doesn't meet their standards, right? It doesn't yeah. quite meet them. I, I wanna see what like the demographic is. People want a faster pad, people want something slower, you know. Yeah. Uh I think that'd be kind of uh, interesting to see. But again, I'm finally happy that it's uh, you know that it's gonna be out after so many months. And yeah. uh, again I can't I can't thank uh Pritchard enough for uh, giving us, you know, like the, the opportunity. Yeah, the opportunity yeah. to um, help them out with this pad. Can't wait to see what the community has to say about mm -hmm. it, right? Um, hopefully, we'll get to do more collaborations with Pure Check, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, this we put a lot of time into this. I think a little bit too much time, right? But that wasn't <laughs> our fault. We, nah, we were just there, there's a lot of manufacturers uh, issues, right? A lot of manufacturer stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the Pure Check P fifty one. Um, if you guys do want to pick one up, we're gonna leave links down below, mm -hmm. and also go ahead and look at your uh, fair viewers video on it, cause. They're going to start rolling out, right? Yeah, they are going to start rolling out, so. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Pure Check, thank you so much. Um, and I hope, um, yeah, that we uh, will get to work on more things, right? So, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is Gus. And Carlos from Hardware Unplugged. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.